my tip. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Dad? Yeah, what's wrong? Something smells mighty fine. What's for dinner? Barbecue night. Meat feast, man. Barbecue? Yes. I cannot wait for this. It smells so good. Woo. Baby. Hello, Mama Murray. Hello. Bar and grill. Oh, hey, Papa. Oh, what do we have here? We have like burgers. Go through it for us, Papa. What's up, Daddy? What do we have? Chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabs. Chicken drumsticks. Drumsticks. Meatballs. Meatballs. Then down Lamb's here. Lamb's to go. Lamb. What? 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 What's this? The sauce. The sauce? So Dad, like, what? Do you know how many? 217 calories per 100 grams. That is not acceptable. Don't tell me you've laden everything with this. Yeah, it's our bulking season, man. Come bulking on. season or not, we do not use this sauce. Please tell me not everything is covered in it, Dad. Yeah, everything. Bulking season, man. Every. No, we need zero calorie sauce. I need my calorie free barbecue sauce. Oh my god, Tesco is the model and numero tre. Here we go. Parked. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, barbecue sauce. Okay, here we go. Bullseye. 160 calories? No. How about this one? 180? No. This one? 212? No. Come on, come on. 133? No. What about the Tesco's one? 105? Still not good enough. Come on, Hellman's my only hope. 141? None of them are low calorie. What am I gonna do? What is up guys, welcome back to a new video and you read the title of the video, this is gonna be a whopper, okay? So it is summertime and a lot of you will probably be going out for like barbecues and stuff. So while you might not be able to save calories on meat like ribs, juicy, girthy sausages and stuff, what you can save on is the sauce that goes with it. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make like a calorie free, zero calorie barbecue sauce. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go shopping for the ingredients you're gonna need and as you saw of course today's shop of choice is gonna be Tesco's and whoo look at that the Sun is shining down on Lord potato what a beautiful day okay we are in that's what she said now I already know there's gonna be one hater out there is gonna say Scott there are so many ingredients to go into this barbecue sauce look they're not all necessary but most of the time they're one super cheap and two can be found pretty much in any supermarket, regardless of the country. Okay, so take out your pen and paper. The first ingredient, garlic salt, smoked paprika, shout out Johnson Clark, some cayenne pepper, some chilies, black pepper and some salt, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, some vinegar. Of course, just my luck, they don't have one of the ingredients. Some Worcestershire sauce is the next thing you're gonna need, but luckily I do have some at home. Anyway, next is some red onions, some sweet peppers, a low -carb calorie sweetener of choice some sort of diet soda preferably coke yes this is gonna go well so comment down below actually are you team diet coke or team coke zero personally I'm team coke zero but yes those are all the ingredients you're gonna need except for one a very special one so give me a second what the hell hello Scott is that you yeah I'm just doing a bit of work what do you want have you got the goods the goods what do you mean the goods the gum, Scott, the gum. Gum? Like chewing gum? No, look, I don't have anything. Gosh, look, I told you yesterday to order some, so order some now and make sure it's there when I get home. Okay, Jesus, I'm sorry. I still don't really know what you want, but I'll do my best to have something for you when you get back. Okay, so xanthan gum, I guess he's probably talking about this one. So which one? This one looks pretty decent, so. Oh God, okay, so it's a bit of a risk. That was good shipping time actually, but yes, xanthan gum, so fingers crossed it's the right stuff. Oh God, okay, so yes, that is actually the perfect stuff. And again, I know I use this all the time, but it's not completely necessary in this recipe. It just adds a bit of thickness. Okay, so yes, we have all the ingredients. It might seem like a lot, like I said, but again, this is gonna be adaptable and I will go into that later on in the video. But yes, everything is here and it's actually pretty easy to make. So 
You still already know. I know you like him, so he is coming in to bring you through this recipe. Mr. One Take Kid! And let's actually be rolling in 3, 2, 1. What is up, people? Mr. One Take Kid back in action under his covers all alone again with no one to care for him. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the full list of ingredients and quantities will be down below. But the first thing you're going to do is chop your vegetables. To be honest, you probably don't even need to do that either. But you're going to get your Coke and start sort of boiling that in a pan, okay, with a little bit of vinegar. Then, like I said, oh, God, yeah, the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce as well okay then as i said you probably don't even need to chop the vegetables because it's all going in a blender everything else gets shoved into a blender again like i said i always talk about nincompoop friendly recipes this one is literally like a step down from nincompoop anyone can do this okay so you're gonna blend everything there and then you're just gonna add that into get it Yes, correct, the coke and the vinegar mix and just let it simmer for ages, okay? Well, not ages, but... Oh, God, I'm speaking way too fast. I need to do more cardio and get out of breath. Okay, so, yeah, once it simmers, uh, you add in your xanthan gum. That is going to be your thickener and let it simmer again. You can see it just thickens up nicely. And then you're going to pop it into a nice little bujail that is bottle in Irish. So you will see we made a nice little funnel that nearly melted actually when I poured everything in there. And there we go, family. The bottle got completely mangled, so I will have to get a new one for the thumbnail. But that is our barbecue sauce of peace. If you had smell a vision you will smell that it is smelling mighty barbecuey in here, okay? So for this, per 100 grams, like you saw, is like 217 calories and there's 500 grams in there. So over a thousand calories for this compared to this, which like literally per serving is like calorie free. Okay. The only thing like adding main calories is going to be like the chopped tomatoes, which is basically nothing. If you're tracking chopped tomatoes, uh, like a fraction of chopped tomatoes, then I highly question you as a human or you're in contest prep, which I know you're not. So that is a recipe and it's going to be an absolute game changer for your summer festivities. And in terms of adaptability, as always, this is super adaptable. Actually, you know what? If you've made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate you, okay? So let's play the confuse the hell out of everyone game, okay? So if you made it this far, I want you to comment below, SpongeBob SquarePants lives in soy sauce, <laughs> okay? Everyone's gonna be completely confused, but now let's get back to the video and the adaptability of this recipe. Once again, I really do appreciate you if you're watching this far, so thank you so much, let's go! Oh my god, okay, so in terms of adaptability, you can literally add anything, but one thing I do like to add is soy sauce. Any of these bad boys would work perfectly, just pick out one or two that you like. You could use tomato passata instead of chopped tomatoes. You most definitely do not need to use diet soda or coke, okay, you can just let it simmer in water. As far as veggies go, you can literally chop up and blend any vegetable that you like. Add in a little bit of parmigiano to make it like a cheese sauce. Another good one is actually adding in some mustard. If you're feeling like an Indian, then go for some tikka curry or some like tandoori powder. Or of course, be my guest and use a real thing. But at 212 calories per 100 grams, I don't know about you, but ain't nobody got time for that. And I know exactly which one I'm gonna choose. The zero calorie Scott Murray one. But yes, those are a few ideas. Literally, I told you, you can do absolutely anything and adapt it to you. So unfortunately that marks the end of another video. If you like it, then please like it and subscribe to the channel again. So happy summer, happy barbecue season. Actually, to be honest, this can be had any time of the year. So yes, try it out. Let me know if you like it. And if you want more sauces, I do have a few ideas up my sleeve. If you want more sauce recipes or condiment recipes, please let me know down below. But for now, that's the end of this video. Hope you all have a good day. I appreciate you all and see you all in the next video. Boop!